This week we're in Livingston invading the kitchen of Strip House Restaurant inside the Westminster Hotel. Behind these unmarked doors in the hotel lobby, you'll find the sultry atmosphere of Strip House and head chef Bill Zakuski. We're in the kitchen of Strip House with chef Bill Zakuski and we are making lamb today, which Easter's coming up. Lamb's generally popular for Easter, but you're making something that I've never, I've never heard of a lamb T-bone steak. Where did you get this, this cut? Um, it's a, it's a lamb loin. Okay. T-bone, it's almost like a, it's comparable to a porterhouse on a, on a cow. Okay. Except it comes from a, a and, lamb. And now is this something that people could find in a grocery store or you have to specially no, get this from a butcher? No, you could find these in a, in a grocery store. Okay, and then sure. we have another unique ingredient in this particular yes, recipe, which is ramps. And I just saw these yesterday at the grocery store, so I know people yes. can find them. What is a ramp? It's a wild leek. Wild leek, yeah. so oniony, garlicky. Oniony, they're in the same family as the onion and garlic. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're normally wild. And, um, uh, and we are complimenting our lamb with, we're making a fingerling potato salad. Yes. Very cool. Yes, and we're going to serve it warm. Oh, okay. So it's a little bit unique rather than a cold potato salad. That sounds delicious. And we're going to mix in a little goat cheese with that. And we're going to toss it all with a rosemary vinaigrette. I love it. All right, chef, let's get started. Okay, great. Okay, we're going to season our lamb. First, we're going to coat it in a little canola oil on both sides. Season it with salt. Some coarsely ground black pepper on both sides, of course. And then we're going to put them in our broiler. Okay, they're going to go about five minutes aside for medium rare. for a potato salad. Yes. So how, what are we putting in this? Well, it's a rosemary vinaigrette. Okay. And we're going to start with an egg yolk. Just the yolk? Yeah, just the yolk. Okay. Okay. Um, teaspoon of Dijon mustard. We'll get that in there. Three tablespoons of champagne vinegar. Champagne vinegar? You can vinegar. use any vinegar you want to if you like balsamic okay. or a white balsamic. That works too. Excellent. Okay. And a half a teaspoon of chopped fresh rosemary. Very nice. Not my favorite. Okay. We're gonna use a hand blender just to mix everything together. Okay. And if you had a standard hand mixer, that would work too. That would work too. The blender would work also. Okay. okay. Now we're, we're gonna make an emulsified vinaigrette. So what I need you to do is you can take that oil and slowly pour that in. Now you said this is light olive oil. Yeah, right? this is a light olive oil. So. All of it? Yes, all of it. Nice and slow. There you go, you can see it's coming together. Nice creamy vinaigrette. And that's the last of it. Now about how much oil was that? That was a quarter cup of oil. Oh, okay. And they have a nice creamy. Look at that, that looks awesome. Yes. We're gonna start making our potato salad now. And yes. you are using, I uh, hear, the fingerling potatoes. What, you said if anybody can't find them, baby Yukons are good? Yeah, baby Yukons, baby Red Bliss. Okay. okay, and you said you already did a little something of these. Yeah, these are these are blanched or, or par-cooked, Okay. As if you will, in, a, in just salted water. water. Okay, Yeah. and you said, how about how many do you have for that? It's about there? a half a pound of potatoes. Okay, and we're mixing those? Yeah, now. we're gonna throw these in our, in our bowl. They're sliced already into about half inch pieces. With our shallots. Okay. And this is our chiffonade of our uh, ramps. Okay, now you said you threw the ramps on the grill real quick just to kind of... Yeah, just to lightly wilt them. Okay. Sure. And we're going to pop this in the oven just to warm it up. What temperature oven? About 250 degrees, just a low oven. You don't okay. really want it hot. You just want to take the chill out of it and make it warm. Okay, we're going to take our warm bowl out of the oven. Okay, we're just spoon some dressing to coat it up. How thick this is. Really good. Enough? Little yeah, more? that should be good. Why don't you give it a toss? We're going to season it with a little salt and pepper. That, that looks good. That looks good. Then we're going to take our goat cheese. Now, about how much goat cheese is it's this? It's about three ounces. Okay. And we're, okay. So we're just going to spoon it out. We'll come and on. that'll kind of melt in with Yeah, the, that'll melt in a little bit. The warm potatoes. 
sometimes you need a little bit of help to get it off the spoon. <laughs> okay. Just spoon the rest of that out. Okay. Yeah, the okay. rest of the oh, cheese. Oh, the rest of the Yeah, cheese. there you go. I'm paying attention, I promise. Okay. <laughs> A little sticky. There, you there go. we go. All right, and we're just gonna mix that up. Kind of leave the goat cheese nice and lumpy. Okay. For the good mouth feel. Right. Okay. Then we're just gonna spoon that right onto the plate, just like so. Okay. okay. Now we took the the chops out of the oven a little while ago. Yes. So they've been hanging out for. Very important to let it rest. 10 minutes? Uh, about half the cooking time, so about five minutes. Five to 10 minutes, yeah. okay. And now we were saying, you have a very professional uh, oven here in the, the kitchen at the strip house, but for the home cook, they can either broil it in a regular broiler for five to 10 minutes, or put it on a hot grill. Sure, and you know, you could even do it in a saute pan. Oh, okay, great. So we've got our chops all set. And just lean them up against the potato salad nice. Give them a little bit of a place to rest. With that. We're just gonna garnish it with a little rosemary. At the strip house, we finish everything with coarse sea salt and a little clarified butter just oh to gosh. make it a little bit better. And you can also spoon a little bit of the dressing all around the plate. Look at that. Also. And there you have it. There's our lamb T-bone with our warm goat cheese and family potato salad. Awesome. Easter feast is served. There you go. <laughs> All right, Bill. Now comes the moment of truth. Yes. We, gotta, we gotta give this a shot. So we're gonna take a little bite here of our lamb. You, my friend, did an excellent job. Thanks. And I would absolutely serve this for Easter. Cool. Thank you so much You're for welcome. letting us invade your cucina. You're welcome. Thank you for I'll coming. I'll see you next week in mine, <laughs> as I'm chewing. <laughs>